Hey, Jeff from Phoenix, Arizona just checked in. How you doing, Jeff? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, obviously a Weller fan. Who isn't? You know, they're such a, such a cool couple. Jeepers, criminy. I had a great interview with them this morning. So much fun. Um, That's all good. I'm I called her something yesterday, just having fun, just in conversation. I <laughs> forgot that then, wait, when they first met, that Jason was 19. She wasn't. <laughs> So I called her. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Corey Cougar. <laughs> She's but it's like, that ship is long sailed. Yeah, no kidding, Jeff. They rock and make great products. Here's our lineup of cars already coming out of the course as we get ready for the next race. Here's our lineup. Limited buggies will short course cars will be starting up front on the front row. Evan Bradford in the 305 alongside of Shane Prescott in the 328. Row two inside. Travis Howard in the 318 alongside Kyle Knott in the 306. I had a chance to talk to Kyle this morning. Um, man, boy, he has got, uh, hey, David Peace has checked in. Hey, David. Hey, Dave. Old school buddy. Way back in the day. And yeah, Dave, of course, heard the cougar thing. Um, <laughs> and then we got Darren Sefton, our final limited buggy in the 368 in row. Let's see, actually starting sixth will be Carson Smith in the 1619. Row four inside, Kevin Streety and Joe Whiteley alongside each other in row four. In row five, boy, I haven't mentioned this name in a long time, Kent Lothringer and Cameron Brister. We'll start alongside each other in row 5, 1683 and the 917. And if you check out, you can see right now is there's a gap between the group of short course cars that are up front right now and the desert cars in the back. Wheelbase, suspension, engine's pretty, pretty close. I'm not going to get all technical about the differences and stuff, but uh, just look at the chassis, you can be able to tell. And uh, I do believe uh, Kent Lothringer uh, basically probably built a few of those desert cars. In <laughs> fact, he built all those. <laughs> if not, he restored them. Dave, Dave, Dave. Old schoolers drool. Here we go. Green is out. We're underway. And, yeah, we mentioned Wellers. And guess what's coming up next? The Weller Racing SR1 UTV race. We immediately following the 1600 right now on course. Well, I don't know. I had a special request from Corey for you to do that interview with her. No, she didn't. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> really nice try, old man. Oh, Corey Weller watching stream notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, cars are around there. A couple of limited buggies and uh, look at a couple of the uh, desert buggies going around. Yeah, I got a wall in front of me. There we go. So Evan Bradford still has the lead as he started out on the pole. About two car lengths up front. Shane Prescott right there is Travis Howard as well. Travis has moved up one spot on the first lap. Man, I remember, I always, what happened there, oil? Yeah, okay, Jeff. <laughs> It's, you know, I, I always reference, I don't know why I shouldn't, but remember when there was like 38 to 40 cars? Oh, yeah. 1,600 cars? Oh, yeah. And they were all short course. They weren't desert cars. No, all short course. I think, if I remember right, one year at, at one race weekend at, at Chula Vista, we started them four wide, as far deep as, as you go, what, 10 rows? And it was nuts. And it was it was a standing start too. Well, how do you how do you start that? I mean, there's so many cars; it's hard to say that for sure. I mean, it, you got to do it that way. But guys like you know, uh, oh Rob McEachran and Bryce hey. Menzies. Oh, the Rob McEachran rule. <laughs> Forgot about that one. For you, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Man, Evan Bradford's really taking this class to, to uh, school right at the moment as he's got about a 15 car link lead over Travis Howard and back in the desert class Kevin Streety 
Actually, Ken Lothringer, I'm sorry, he's running fifth overall. And Carson Smith is actually, excuse me, leading that division as fourth overall, leading the desert cars. I'm kind of surprised by that, actually. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> tell you, he's been up there a lot. Joe Whiteley, of course, treaty has been there, and Lothringer's been Great to see a new name, Carson Smith. You know, getting up, uh, running front. But hey, this race is not even halfway over yet. So give it some time. Just when you think you got it figured out, they will surprise you. I kind of wish there was a, the ability to physically reach through the internet and kind of cuff upside the head David Peace. <laughs> Just wrap him upside the head. Well, he's only a short drive down tire the hill. Tire to tire, bumper to bumper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chrissy Kanamaki. <laughs> There's a cool drone shot. Actually, is there such a thing as a not a cruel, not a cool drone shot? Nope, doesn't exist in my book. And there you go, side by side action, door to door, wheel to wheel. <laughs> uh, drone getting down low there on the 318. Travis Howard back up to see Bradford running with Kyle Knott. New uh, color scheme there for Knott. Got that copper bronze color. I wonder if this is the same drone pilot we had at King of the Hammers that actually flew under the car. I saw that shot. Did you? Oh, yeah. Sick. I'm like, I remember being in the booth and like, wait a minute. Did I just see that? And it's like we all had to like figure out. Bad skills. Oh, boy. I call that job security. Oh, we got a pass. Kyle Nine now running up front. And he's pulled away, put a gap to about four car lengths over Bradford. Nice move. Uh, Kyle Knott. I believe Comp Yellow's coming out next time by. Yeah, what, 12 laps make up the distance here. Six. We will throw the Comp Caution there. Hey, Kyle Abrams watching. What's up, Kyle? Kyle Knott. <laughs> Talking trash to the internet. Oh, those buggy dorks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love them. Dang, Andrea, you're putting some miles on this weekend. So, couldn't be today. At a wedding in Sacramento. I don't know. I would have watched the wedding in Sacramento on the internet and been at the races. Can you do, can't you do that virtually? Yeah. <laughs> Comp Yellow is coming up. Half the field has crossed the line and is coming up behind our pace truck. So Kyle Nye, our current leader, as he comes around, we are going to see right behind him Evan Bradford. It's always great. You see Evan Bradford. The I think he's got his own cheering section. Hey, Jacob, how you doing, man? From Abrams, Wisconsin, just north of Green Bay. Basically, there's a whole ton of race shops right off of 41 as you head to the to, to Cran and Orbark River. But you can, if you know where you're looking, you can see all kinds of race shops right off the highway. That's so cool. It's hard to miss Johnny Greaves' yeah, shop well, yeah. the black semis. <laughs> but uh, yeah, With Jacob, big green good claws. to see you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's going on. Looks like everybody's crossed the line. Now it's just a matter of catch up. See, Andrea's on my page. Andrea? Is she holding a fish? <laughs> it looks like she's in the back of a boat holding a fish. I haven't zoomed in on her picture. Well, that's cool. <laughs> you know, if she really wants to impress us, you can bring that fish tomorrow, smoked. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be great having smoked salmon or something tomorrow. Oof, on crackers or cheese? Uh, aren't you from like the Midwest? Like like meat and cheese? 
I'm from Green Bay originally. I know. Isn't that the land of cheese curds and oh, smoked meats? Oh, boy. It killed me <laughs> not being a Cranon this year. It killed me. Should be taking the green this time by. Once again, don't forget, Weller Racing SR1 UTVs are coming up next. All right, on the gas. Here we go. Out of the battery says green, green, green. Evan Bradford, this is his best chance right now is to get back on the back bumper of Kyle Knott, trying to work his way around. Travis Howard back in third. Falls back a little bit, about three, maybe four car lengths, running in third. And there's a nice battle going on for that fourth spot right now. Well, you know why Kyle has to jump up front. You saw that white suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this morning I made a comment about it, too. Yeah. Told him he needs to get, like, tied as a sponsor or, or a dry cleaner. He goes, I, I made some comment about his white fire suit. He goes, yeah, um, Simpson said the same thing or, or whatever. I forget the, the manufacturer, Impact or Simpson, but, yeah, it, they kind of said the same thing about being white. Should have worn his brown pants today. So how are the leaves changing up there in uh, the Green Bay area? Jacob, it's got to be beautiful right now. Wow. What I wouldn't give to be there. Well, it goes without saying right now that Kyle Knott's got the fastest lap time of the race back on lap six. He's the only driver in the entire field in the 55 second mark. But uh, yeah, yeah what I like it on screen here, they're showing their total time around the track. So far not has the fastest overall time combined for every lap. Interesting way to look at it. Never looked at it that way. Usually just look at the individual laps. So it's not Bradford. Well, actually, it is not, but it's not Bradford in the lead. Still no white flag. It'll be three laps remaining next time by three laps. Now, this is where I'm talking about earlier that there's some weird Zen thing going on. Cars start together, take the green flag, then they also they gap out in the middle of the race, and then some to go they group back up again we're in that where they're all separated thing you watch white flag comes out and for some crazy reason I don't know what the algorithms or whatever somehow they group back together again I don't care if it's buggies or trucks or what but it's just crazy how that happens it's maybe the master plan of the universe uh, I don't want to get that to well, there's a great shot of Kyle Knott goes by as Evan Bradford chases them down. Two laps to go here next time around. White flag will come out. Very cool to see Cameron Brister out there, the uh, younger brother of Matt Brister. And first race out here at Great American Short Course Series. Matt passing on the uh, limited buggy torch to him. As our leaders make their way through the center of the track to come around into the split sections here. Tight right-hander, 180 degrees around. Couple of rollers. Big left hand. Pop up to the side. Down across the uh, stripe and the white flag will come out. So looking at uh, Carson Smith still leading the uh, 1600 class with Kyle Knott. And that's like I said, you're going to see these uh, desert buggies getting right in the mix with the limited buggies. Great class to combine them with. It's probably the closest matched classes of both buggies and trucks you can have between a desert and a short course. Yep. But the final turn now, Kyle Knott put it at the start-finish line. 
The 306 will take the win. Evan Bradford, not all that far behind, will take second. Oh, I saw what you did. What did I do? Not that far behind. Yeah, I tried to create this <laughs> real tight finish. <laughs> Travis Howard will round out the podium in the short course cars. Shane Prescott will finish fourth overall. Carson Smith will take the win in the desert class. Kevin Streety second. And Darren, let's see, Darren will finish uh, fifth in the short course. And it looks like Kent Lothringer. No, Joe Whitley. He'll finish in the podium spot for Desert Cars. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to mosey on my way down and talk to him about it. So we'll bring our top three in each class. A total of six cars up to the podium. Dave is earning his paycheck through day as he makes his way down the stairs one more time. We'll step aside real quick. Have a few words from our sponsors. For all the fans back at home, tuned in, watching round five of the Great American Short Course 2021 season. Welcome to Palms River Resort. Palms is a five-star lifestyle community where you'll make lifelong friends. I mean, some of my favorite things to do are obviously building memories with the family. We get out in the side-by-sides. Of course, I like riding my dirt bike in the hills and taking off in the desert. But I mean, family time in the boat, man, you can't beat it. work that comes from the safety on our job sites the teamwork that makes it happen from employees that are guided by integrity and making a commitment that we are proud of at stronghold engineering our values have been instrumental in our success and ability to build or facilitate anything imaginable stronghold engineering building construction excellence since 1991 96 is inside this car here for the race. Uh, we use the UTV 96 in this car. I'm using the uh, VP UTV 96 fuel. Thank you, VP Racing Fuel, for keeping me powered and getting me on top of the box. Wait a minute. 
All right, here we are. We got Limited Buggy up here on the box right now, and uh, Travis Howard, Kevin, or Evan Bradford, and Kyle Knott. So, I'm gonna go over and talk to uh, Travis, and uh, man, it's a lot of work driving those buggies, isn't it? Yeah, for us old guys, that's easy. <laughs> easy pickings, where are these two kids? Well, you make the box, it makes sense. Everything sound easy. Uh, my first race, first box so i say you're uh doing pretty darn good my friend uh yeah definitely i couldn't do it without these guys up here especially this one uh definitely the not family are good people and uh great to have you out here i mean talk about the race a little bit what was going through your mind first race trying to go for a podium you had to have all kinds of things go through your brain yeah absolutely um the mud was a little thick Starting up in the front with these guys was a chore, you know, but it gave me a good opportunity to see how what kind of lines they're running Adjust mine. They definitely got a lot more experience than I do I tried to hold my own and towards the end of the race. I started having a little Flutter in the motor not terminal, but something that's fixable and we'll be back to go harder tomorrow Who Would you like to thank for being up here? Uh, the Knott family, first and foremost, Skyline Fabrication, uh, General Tire, uh, Mud Muncher. Tell you what, if you ain't got a Mud Muncher, it's pretty cool. Just saying. <laughs> uh, NL Race Fuels, the Meehan family, Don Hats Racing Engines. Uh, we got two Hats motors on the podium today, so good job there. Um, man, my family, friends, my fiance at home. That's it. Travis Howard, give a big round of applause for his first box, first race. He's 100% right now. Evan Bradford. Evan Bradford. Okay, I just had to see. Might have been an echo. Here you go, buddy. 150 bucks, can in. Not too shabby to start off. Well, first half of the race. Look at him, he's checking out. Then that darn caution came out, the competition caution. A little crazy, but you still, you know, battled a little bit with him. He got by, but you didn't let him get away from you. But then you had to worry about uh, Travis behind you. Yeah, you know, Kyle's a great racer. He got around me clean. We had a good battle back and forth, but it was super muddy out there, so I was blind for half that race, just pulling tear-offs every few seconds. But Travis right behind me, trying to come up. I couldn't have a better, better race, though. Happy with my second place. It was just a good overall race. Well, you got to love it, and you know, and it's always a good points battle. You know, I know you're up there and trying to go for championship fighting with this guy. Yeah, right now after this race, I'm sitting in second place. We're going to try to make it happen, but, you know, we're just doing our best out here. Well, Evan, who'd you like to thank for being here? I'd like to thank my whole family coming out, my dad, all the late nights, all the work, Mike Meehan, the whole Meehan group, built me a badass motor. We got, we got two motors up here on the podium. Just shows how awesome it is. GG Lighting and anybody else supporting me. Evan Bradford, everybody, big round of applause here. Kyle Knott, 250 bucks worth of Caden products coming to you, my friend. But uh, saw you this morning, had this nice white suit on, and so Scott and I are looking out and going, I know why he's trying to get to the front. He didn't want to get that suit dirty. Well, just asked him, he's like, you know, that's just for photos. <laughs> Smart move. But I'll tell you, it looks sharp. Kyle's talking about this race. You didn't get the lead right away. You had to jump out and battle with Evan. Looks like you kind of planned it for a little bit, and I think you got a little tired of getting muddy. Yeah, the mud was pretty gnarly. I, that white suit wouldn't have lasted. I'm saving it for the pro light race, but the race was awesome. I had to wait till the competition caution to make my move and just threw it, sailed it in on the bottom and it stuck and I just led from there. It was, it was a super fun race. I couldn't do it without all my friends and family that come out to help. Competitive Edge for building me such a solid motor, General Tire being so hooked up, Skyline Fabrication, oh geez, uh, Maxima Racing Oil, uh, Race Glass, taking care of the Prolite and everybody else, thank you. Give it up for the shit man right there, Kyle Not one more time, Travis ha Howard. Ha Howard. First time on the box here, first race. Evan Bradford, once again, a usual suspect. And Kyle Dot taking the top honors there. Good job, guys.
Travis, killer to see you get that. All right, we got the Desert Buggies up. Second place, all right. Bring up Carson Smith, of course, uh, on top of the box, Kevin Streety. And good to see my good friend, Joe Wiley. What are you doing, Joe? How, how you doing, bud? <laughs> well, Joe, I'm going to start it out. With all that mud out there, you might need a new air cleaner. <laughs> How's it going, bud? Oh, it's, uh, it's pretty slick out there. Did a couple of donuts out there. Really caught me off guard with all the mud. It was slip and slide time out there. I don't know. It's either uh, these races are getting harder or I'm just getting older. I don't know. But uh, it was fun. I hope you had a lot of tear-offs on. Many, many. I went through all of them, I think. Well, talk about a little race there. You know, it's got the young gun up on top. You got your buddy Kevin over there. You know, fighting with that and back there trying to hold him off. A little bit, a little bit of pressure. Yeah, it, he always puts on a good race. So it's always, uh, I think he got me because I spun out a couple times and he, he got me. But, oh, well, there's always next time. Well, who would you like to thank for being up here, my friend? Uh, mostly uh, Lee and Poppy Perfect for putting on a good race. And Jennifer down here for always taking care of contingency. And then my spotter, uh, Nate Combs. And thanks to his wife, Amanda, letting him come out here and uh, support me all weekend. Thanks, you guys. Joe Wiley, everybody, uh, third place. Congrats to him. We're going to move on to Kevin Streety here. And uh, Kevin, there you go. So, Joe, trying to do donut one off in front of you, showing his acrobatics? Or? Yeah, I was doing the same thing. So it was, it was really muddy and slick, but it was still fun. You say if he's doing it, I can do it too? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's always great to have you guys out here. And, I mean, you guys bring your group. You always have a good time. You put on some good races. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The, the whole these races are real fun to come to, and so it was it was good. Well, I know you got some people to thank. I thank Kent Lothringer and everybody at Lothringer Hearing for all their help. The Bristers for all their help, and uh, the Price family too. Everybody came out at once. Kevin Street, everybody. Yeah, moving on here, Carl Smith, and uh, man, fun playing out there with these guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like they were saying, it was super slippery out there. I always say it's slicker than hogs on ice. <laughs> yeah. Get your ice skates out. But these desert buggies, you know, they handle a little bit different than the shorter limited buggies. So I'm sure it plays an effect when the track gets a little slick. Yeah, I mean, it was a little unpredictable. It was kind of fun keeping you on your toes a little bit. Something, something new every time kind of deal, but it's still a lot of fun. And no time to rest. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to thank for being up here? Uh, my mom, my dad, uh, Donnie Smith Plumbing, Accurate Industrial Construction, uh, the Kennedys for letting me use their car and their motor home staying there this weekend, and uh, yeah, anyone else that came out to help me. Carson Smith, give him a big round of applause for being up here, but once again, Joe Whiteley, Kevin Street, and Carson Smith standing on top of the box. There you go. We got the limited buggies out of the way, the desert buggies. We're moving it right along, and I'm going to throw it right back up to Scott Rain in the booth. Once again, congratulations to our top three finishers in both classes. And, hey, Evan Bradford. Evan, you out there? Can you hear me? Is Evan Bradford listening? I'm looking out on the course right now. and I. Anyways, Evan, if you can hear me, Kathy Rickman Bunch tuned in just a moment ago. Way to go, Evan. Always love watching you race. So 